Hey everybody, this is Sean Holman from the Four Wheeler Network, and we are live from SEMA 2017 here in the BDS booth with our good friend Carter Reed. And uh, Carter, so uh, one of the things that we love about your booth is these awesome can koozies that you guys have. We do a high quality can koozie. You know, that's, that's what people come to SEMA for that's hang right. out, have a good time, see new products, and. Um, Enjoy a good cold frosty beverage and a nice can koozie. Now, does the, does the can, is that a free giveaway with the free giveaway? Of course, everything's free. So come on by. Um, we, we have a party in our booth every day. So uh, come by, hang out, see some new products, uh, you know, enjoy our double padded carpet, and uh, enjoy, have, enjoy a nice beverage. We'll just leave it at a beverage. All right, well, I feel like I haven't earned this yet. So uh, before we come back to the koozies, mm -hmm. let's go walk around to show uh, some, some trucks you guys got in the booth. Yeah, let's do that. All right, right on. All right, so first one over here we'll talk about. Pretty sweet, something different. Um, you know, JK's been out for 11 years now. 100 years. Um, and, uh, so it's, it's that it's that challenge of how do you make it different? How do you make it stand out? How do you get one more year of use? So you add a, so you a add half extra, a JK to you, the first you add, one. So you add an extra <laughs> axle. So this one was built by the guys at Bruiser Conversions. Awesome. They, they do, do some, some cool stuff. They do awesome builds. Um, this one has an LS3 under the hood with the Bruiser Conversion. Uh, all the wiring harness. Is it two diffs or is it a tag axle in the back? No, no, it is two diffs. Six it, by six. Yep, so it's a, a 60 up front. We have two custom nine inches in the rear. Um, and the first one is set up just with a prop shaft through. Um, so everything is true six by six. Awesome. It's got our BDS long arm in the front. Uh, with, uh, and it's fits 40s. With fits, fits 40s. It's got Genrite armor to get, open up a little extra room. So we've got the JKS coilover conversion, our sister company, JKS. It's got their coilover conversion in the front working with our long arm. And then in the rear, a bunch of JKS uh, upper and lower links, their J-axis, along with uh, their coils. And, yeah, it's just an awesome, just you know, bringing a bunch of parts together, yeah. something cool, something different. Um, you know, it, we're just trying to trying to get the last bit of yeah. JK love before, yeah, before uh, the JL comes before out. The JL comes well, you out. saw the uh, the photos went out yesterday, yeah. so anybody who's uh, watching live right now, go to fourwheeler.com, and you can actually see photos that were released yesterday of yeah. the all-new JL, and I'm sure you guys are hard at work uh, getting stuff ready for that yeah, vehicle. We, uh, once we uh, got our hands on one, we uh, started developing, so we got a lot of kits, everything from, you know, control arms and accessories, sway bar links, stuff like that, just, you know, the, the minor upgrades to complete lift kits. We're working on all that. Um, we're pumped to have that stuff available as soon as possible. Very cool. All right, well, this thing's cool, so, uh, you know, it's funny because I think what, two years ago, it seems like everybody at SEMA got bored with JK, so they just started stacking light yeah. bars. So it was like the more light bars you had, and I, 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 I want to say that uh, this is very cool, and I appreciate that uh, that you had some sort of uh, held yourself back from a uh, hundred light bars on it, and you, this stands out in the JK crowd. Yeah, I love lights, um, but I, I don't love lots of lights. <laughs> right. So uh, just trying to have a cool build that's not over the top. You know, everything is it's it's more function than form, but it's got a killer form also. Yeah, no, it's, it's way cool. I, I'd love to be out in Moab and uh, go hit Hell's Revenge in a 6x6. Six six. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, plenty of traction, plenty of motor. It'll do good. So, right on. Yeah, All right. so let's move on. Um, cool. What's next? Well, as we're walking by the bar, um, I'll show this one off real quick. You know, Fox is our parent company. Uh, we were purchased by Fox, or acquired by Fox a few years back. Which is cool because that means you guys have Fox shocks and Fox technology Shader in your kits. Yep. Uh, so between the, the 2.0 shocks and some of the remote resi stuff, all the way up to the Fox 2.5 DSC. No, no white shocks. Uh, no white shocks. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So um, in the booth, uh, we got this awesome spec truck, uh, 6100 class. It was It's running uh, the Fox coilovers, uh, quadruple bypass shocks. Uh, it, this one was built by Pacific Fabrication, so we thought, why not make the most expensive TV stand ever <laughs> and uh, for the bar and build a awesome chassis, hang it, you know, well, get your attention. Will this be on Craigslist later? Can I get it just kind of after the show when you're done with it for my living room? I don't know how we're going to get it down. So. <laughs> how about if I can get it down and get it home, I can have it? I'll let you talk to the owner about that. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Uh, as you can see, the BDS booth is incredibly busy right now. Just... Uh, Filled with uh, part-loving people. Yeah. So, uh, talk about the next vehicle. Um, this one right here, uh, built by the guys at Rockstar Garage. Um, I love their style. You know, they, they put a big wheel, but not a lot of lift on. Um, so this one is actually a brand new 2018 Colorado ZR2. I know you've had plenty of experience with the ZR2. Yep. You've uh, got some wheel time. You've gotten some seat time. Yep. In Baja, you know, playing all over. Awesome, so. awesome truck. Awesome platform to start. And I, I think what's cool about the ZR2. Yes, for the enthusiasts, that's definitely the place you want to begin at. And then now you guys are kind of working to take it to the next level, which is cool to see it up on is 37s. 37-inch tires. So the way they do it, this is running our 5.5-inch um, 
uh, Fox DSC coilover conversion kit. So it's our five and a half inch kit with the Fox DSC coilovers in the front. We have um, you know some upgraded Fox shocks in the rear, and so with that, they trim the fenders out because um, it has a pretty tight fender from the factory. Um, so open that up and squeeze a 37 inch tire. Keep it low, and because Expedition and overlanding is so popular right now. Why not put a rooftop tent? So it's got. Well, yeah. If you're gonna have a low center of gravity, you might as well, uh, you know, <laughs> add some extra. Add it back in, right? <laughs> so yeah, Austin build. Um, they actually cool. took this and wheeled it in Moab for two days on the way out to SEMA. Um, yeah, you see the tires are dirty, so you, yeah. you know it got used. We, we did not use tire shine on this rig. On <laughs> good man, good man. <laughs> so um, yeah, performed awesome. It's got a Titan tank um, in the bed, so plenty of plenty of fuel storage. Yeah. So that is this a diesel truck or a V6? Oh, of course, you got to do uh, that. Yeah, diesel yeah. Overland, man. That's, that's the way to go. <laughs> diesel Overland, why not? Why not use the uh, the 2.8 liter Duramax? So yeah, so it's got an extra 50 gallons in the bed. Oh wow! It's got the bed slide that you can pull out. Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah. I like the rack. The uh, the rack's GBI, pretty cool too. GBI makes a killer rack for this one. Um, yeah, they do. Uh, they do a lot of Tacoma stuff too, right? So they're kind of branching actually, out. This is actually based out of the Tacoma. Okay. Um, a couple minor tweaks yeah. that the guys at Rockstar work with them. So actually, this will bolt right on to the. I think I think you're going to see that Colorado market take off. It is. I mean, that's one of the things about this SEMA. Seemed like last year's a little bit slow. You guys were one of the very first to have a modified Colorado we period. Were, well, it was funny when they first got launched. So uh, they had you know they had some recall issues, and but it just happened that they re, they launched that truck. There were 41 sold on the first day. We were one of the first 41 sold that first day, and then uh, they had the recall, so they had to take them off the market to fix the, you know little. It was a minor you know little minor issue, but we didn't turn ours in. We're like you know we, we got it. We got too important, so we uh, we spent a month, all of our effort you know around the clock developing a kit. And showed up at SEMA. No one ever ever seen a Colorado, let alone, let alone yeah. a lifted one. Right. So we had it in our booth with uh, and took it wheeling and Moab on the way out. So it's uh, that's awesome. Yeah, you guys have a ton of Colorado experience too. But to, to start seeing them, you know, there's a whole bunch starting to trickle in SEMA. You're seeing the Overland theme. You're seeing a few of them that are go fast. It's kind of fun to see some something different, right? And yes. and people are building these. So having this in your booth is pretty cool. And, and I like the I like the direction that this one took. Yeah. yeah. So it's definitely it's you know it's purpose, but it's it's got some killer styling once yeah. again. Very cool. So what else we got? Stepping on down, um, our sister company, RT Pro, we have just, I guess we'll go into that real quick. Uh, you know, our parent company is Fox, and um, our division is Sport Truck USA. Within Sport Truck USA, we have BDS, which is our flagship, the hardcore um, suspension list for trucks and Jeeps. We have Zone Off-Road, which is more of a price competitive, but, you know, quality American-made product as well. Um, we have RT Pro, which is our UTV company. Uh, they do everything from, you know, racing to recreational stuff. Um, everything from the long travel bumpers uh, Fox podium shocks, uh, radius rods, trailing arms, everything. All high end stuff. All the high end stuff for the UTV market, um, whether it's Razor, Can Am, all of them. Very um, cool. And then last one is JKS. A lot of everyone, you know, everyone knows JKS, premium name in the Jeep industry. Um, so they are pushing between products for the JK all the way back to the TJ and CJs yep. and YJs and all the other Js. And oh, they've got some, uh, some good stuff. In fact, we've used uh, JKS's stuff on a lot of builds yeah. over the years. Yes, you have. And uh, we appreciate the love. So, coming on down to the last vehicle, this monster. Yeah, look at this bad boy. A Dually Super Duty. So, this is a 350. This is the brand new uh, 17. So, this is an aluminum truck. Yep, so um, trucks, I mean, yeah, it's lightweight because it's aluminum. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I think I think, uh, I think the F-150 saves 700 pounds versus the outgoing. The, the Super Duty only saves 250 because they went, oh, you know what? Yeah. Well, I think we need to make, keep it heavy for towing and stuff, and we'll add it back. So, I know they added that weight back into the frame. So, the cool thing about that is... These things are incredibly stout, and the frames on them are, are unbelievably strong. Yes. I'm sure you guys have seen yeah, that through yeah. suspension tuning and stuff. Well, and going, you know, hand in hand. So, you know, I own personally I own a 11 Super Duty. So, looking between that truck and then driving this that has the you know, exact same cool over kit, you're like, it's night and day difference. Yeah. You know, the, just, and it's not the kit. The kit's the same. It's just the the quality of the truck. Yep. It's just they've done they've outdone themselves. Yeah, absolutely. So this truck is running um, brand new eight inch four link conversion. So getting rid of the radius arm, going over to four link conversion. By doing that, you have a lot more strength, um, better caster You're control. Using a uh, track bar in the front. Then? Yep, track bar in the front, um, as well as you know the drop bracket and the pitman arm to correct the angles of all the steering. So you've got a dual steering stabilizers as well. Yep, dual, sta dual steering stabilizers with this. We got the Fox 2.5 DSC coilover on it, um, and then auxiliary shock as well from Fox. Uh, at eight inches, we actually index the transfer case, and so the one of the things we're seeing on the 17 and up trucks is once you go that big, uh, the front driveline angle is yeah. just a little too extreme. You have to reclock it. Yep. So rather than you know put a high clearance drive sure. shaft and it's just a lot of money and everything like that, we'd rather keep an OE part in there. That's so you're actually clock. using the stock drive shaft on, on the, with yeah. this kit. You just with clock the, the transfer case. Yeah. You index the transfer case Very down. Cool. We give you a high high clearance cross member that okay. has more room. Yeah. Um, for the transmission and 
Yeah, everything you need. So this one is eight inches on 40s. Um, it was built by uh, the guys at uh, Outlaw Off Road in North Carolina. Uh, it's cool. They put this truck together in a couple weeks, debuted it a couple weeks at another show, and said, "Hey, we're bringing it to Steam." And I said, "We want it. We want it." <laughs> so, um, new products. I'd love to show you some new products. Yeah, let's go check it out. Okay. So recoil. Um, we debuted this last year. Yeah. So, uh, so these are those cool track bars that you have, yep, or the traction, traction bars. bars. Yep. Um, so something different. You know, most traction bars you find on the market have a, you know, they're fixed. You yep. know, has a single point they mount on both sides. Um, and what the problem with that, the arc of that recoil or the, the, the traction bar yep. is different than the arc of the suspension. So what we're doing here is we actually have a spring inside. You can see the cutaway right here. There's a spring inside of there, um, and it allows for a little bit of movement, and that. That movement just is, you know, for the it arc. Basically, it helps yeah. take up the axle wrap it, it, yep, and keep and the springs from arcing on. Yep, you. Yeah, it keeps it from wrapping. But um, yep. the arc of the suspension, yep. it's going to make it so it allows a little bit of movement. And from there, the way it works on the other end, we have a jam nut down there, um, just like a forged flex yep. end, like you will find on any of the Jeep kits. Yep. You loosen up that jam nut, and you can actually rotate the arm and put some preload on that spring. And by putting the preload, you can adjust how much adjust, you know, how much. And you can do that on the vehicle. It doesn't have to be taken off the vehicle. Awesome. We include wrenches, um, you know, picture so of there, but very similar to a JK long arm yes. system where yep. you would adjust, adjust for, get it uh, dialed in yeah, for camera or yeah, camera it, on the front. And it's not something we see everyone, you know, every time you jump in the vehicle, you're going to switch it out, but it's real quick and easy. Um, it takes a half inch, uh, wrench. If you want to put that in there or sorry, right, right, half inch socket. Put that in there, tighten it down. What's the fitment? Do you have uh, a universal bracket for it, or do you so have a... Universal bars and then okay. multiple mounting kits to fit different vehicles. Got it, okay. So, yep, so it's a 55-inch bar, um, and then everything from Chevy, Toyota, Ford, and... So you got all the majors covered. Yeah, you got all the majors. The, you got the big three. You've got the uh, HDs for the Rams. you got the F-150 and Subarus for the Fords. You've got the 1500s and HDs for the Chevy, and then uh, the Tundra guys. Exactly. Got to give the Tundra guys some love. Yeah, so, they, those guys, those guys love when somebody pays attention to them, don't they? <laughs> don't they? <laughs> All right, so moving down, um, we, we made quite a big hit a couple years ago. Um, it's actually this truck on our flyer, but uh, that truck right there, uh, Project uh, Raider. It's a 2015 Chevy HD. We did a coilover conversion on it, so getting rid of the torsion bars. And uh, we started with a three-inch version of it, and then went up to have a six and a half-inch version. That kit's done amazing for us. So awesome. it gets rid of the torsion bars, you know, just. The rough ride that you get from yeah. it, it gives you a new upper and lower arm. It's a mid-travel kit, and it puts a Fox 2.5 DSC coilover on there. Yeah, way better setup. Way better setup. Rides like a half ton. So does that take out the interference bump stops that are on the torsion yes. bar setup? So that's one of the things about the GM trucks with the torsion bars is, is a lot of people don't know if, you're, if you don't modify GMs or you don't drive it, there's actually an interference bump stop, and that bump stop does not help ride, especially after no. you lift it with big wheels and tires, it gets overwhelmed. So well, putting yeah. a coilover in there. Yeah, and if the ball joints are at any kind of angle, yeah. you know, from doing that, it's yeah. It's, it, you're, not, you're not gonna have any droop travel. It's gonna have a rough ride. So yeah. So with that kit, it rides better. You have about 30% increase in travel. Wow. That's um, yeah. So it's it's pretty good for what you do. So, uh, but as soon as we release that, the first question: When is it coming out for the 01 to 10? We've been having people ask all day long. And it's, and, I, and it's, at first we're like, ah, you know, we're just gonna just the late model stuff. We're gonna focus on the late model. And but it just it, it kept happening. People kept asking, when is it coming? When is it coming? When is it coming? And we were finally like, you know what? Maybe there's maybe there's something here. You know, it's it's no not everyone can has the money for a sixty thousand dollar brand new truck. Absolutely. So why not get you know a truck that's got a few years on it? That motor's still good. It's still going to last them a long time. But they can get the truck for you know under yeah. twenty and, going and put some put some money into it. So we have it right here. Very cool. Let's go so, check it out. Uh, the kit is going to be available in a four and a half and a seven inch size uh, right off the bat. And I love the way you guys do your ball joint cups. Yep. And everything. I mean, this... I mean there's something to say. A lot of companies will do a uniball and. If you're in the desert, yeah, yeah, they, southwest, you're good. But, not but, but we're Midwest Michigan, guys, yeah. so anywhere that uses salt, that's not the way you want to go. Exactly. So we do a, uh, a regular ball joint. It's a Moog ball joint, but how we do it is the cup for the ball joint is actually re-indexed. Yeah. So once you put the lift on, it's actually in a much better position, okay. so you still have your droop travel, still have up travel. You, so, can, see, you can just see how, how it's protected in here. Um, you can see you know, Moog obviously makes high quality, uh, high quality oh, yeah. ball joints. Yeah, we so work, work close with them to get one. So it, it bolts right into the factory knuckle, um, as well as with our kits, it's going to go into the aftermarket knuckles awesome. as well. Awesome. We use rubber bushings, um, you know, heavy-duty mount that's going to go into the factory shock mount to mount the coilover. Along with that, we give you a support gusset for these. It's going to have the high clearance cross members, yep. uh, lower mount for the kit to reuse your factory uh, lower control arm. So yeah, that's it, awesome. We're, we're pumped on this. We got a lot of people that have been asking questions. 
excited to see it. So that's actually a cast iron arm. On yes, the floor. it is. So I yes, mean, that's is. already a beefy piece. So oh, exactly. The, able, the ability to be in there and be able to reuse that, yep. uh, you know, obviously yeah, that some cost savings um, over you know what a replacement arm on the newer sure. trucks we do a complete lower arm, but it's just because it needs well, it. Well, yeah, and, and the other thing is, obviously, older truck, you want to be more cost-conscious cost yep. on this, so this is yep. a good way to go. Yep, so we're going to have this kit coming available by the end of the year. Um, awesome. I'm pretty excited on that. Okay, so any of you guys with, uh, was it 01 to 10? 01 to 10 trucks. Okay, um, 01 to 10, Chevy, 2500, 2500 GMC. 2500 as well. Okay, yeah. put it on your Christmas list now. You want to get on the list because I think this is going to be a pretty popular one. It will, it will. So, yeah, so Four next and thing. And, and seven inch, by the way, so. Yes. So two sizes. Um, oh, seven of it? Up to 37s. Okay. So, Very cool. So, last thing. Uh, along with these upper control arms we have for that, we have a whole line of upper control arms coming out for other vehicles. Uh, it's one of those things that people have been asking us, you know, when are you going to do upper upper control arms to fit your kits? Sure. But we didn't, we didn't want to just do what everyone else does. We want to do the high-quality product. We didn't want to do the Uniball. We didn't want to have Himes on there. You know, everything that is going to fail eventually. It looks like you're using factory-style bushings. Factory-style bushings. Awesome. The durometer, everything's right at factory, so awesome. you're nice and quiet operation. It's going to last you. And then we do, all of them have a re-index ball joint cup. Yeah. Uh, we do a machine cap, so it's going to keep all the dust in there. Yeah. You just pull the cap off and you know, whenever you got to do your servicing. Sure. Um, but yeah, we have those available for late model GM trucks, uh, 07 and up. We have them for uh, late model Toyota Tacoma, the Tundra, the F-150. We have the Ram coming avail available very soon. Um, so lots of different applications. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I, I love the OE bush. I mean, let's face it, you know, it's when you're a kid and you're starting out, you don't care if your suspension squeaks. But when you got a $60,000 truck and you go pick your, your wife for a night out of the town and it's like, rrr, 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 you know, you don't want that. So uh, you guys are doing the, you're doing the right thing. And, and I, you're right, being based in the Midwest, you know, that's going to be good for everybody. I mean, even if you don't go to the desert, you still have protection, you know, from, like you said, salt and all that. Yeah, and if I mean, you do go to the desert, you get to keep the dust out. Yeah, been, like on this model, um, you know, several of them, they, they run a factory brake line right down the upper control arm. Right. So a lot of the other companies you'll see out there, you have to put a zip tire, you have to figure out a way to attach it. So all of our arms, if it does, you guys have the mount. we put the mount right into it. So, you know, it, it's a quick, easy installation. Um, and it's, it's done, I mean, it's done right, right? It's I mean, right. You're, you're doing it so that so your end user has everything yeah, they need. All chrome molly, all TIG welded. Um, yeah, powder coated on top of powder it. Powder coated on top of that. Yeah. So, yep. We're Midwest guys, so we like to make everything <laughs> ready to But that's good. I mean, that's good. Twitter. Hey, not everybody who lives in the West stays in the West. I mean, oh, I've seen guys who live in California, and they go on a road trip somewhere, and they end up going in the snow, and they come back, and their kits are all trash, and their truck looks bad because... You know, he never thought he'd leave Southern California. So going with a kit like this that has yep. protection, you can drive anywhere you want, any kind of environment, any kind of weather. You don't have to worry about your truck yep. looking bad, sounding bad when you get back. I agree. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, I think we talked a lot. Yeah, that was awesome. You ready, I, I, you ready yeah. to get a beverage? Yeah, well, I'm, I want to check out those koozies one more time. So uh, <laughs> we are uh, we're here in the BDS booth at the 2017 SEMA show. Carter Reed from BDS and Sean Holman from Four Wheeler. And uh, we are going to... Uh, Get Go check out some, uh, some, some cold koozies. So thanks for following along, and uh, stay tuned on 4 Wheeler. We have some more Facebook Lives later today. Thanks. Have a great day.